Mayor Robert Wagner has carried on the tradition set by his father, Senator Wagner, as a fighter for decent housing and a better way of life for every New Yorker. It is indeed an honor for LaGuardia Community College to welcome Mayor Robert Wagner. I'm delighted to be here on this occasion and fortunate to be able to be here. The years do go by. I'm glad to be here under the auspices of the Fiorello LaGuardia Community College. I knew the little flower. He was uh, held a higher office I did at that time. He was the mayor of the city and I was a young member of the state assembly from representing the Yorkville district of Manhattan, which my father represented many years before me. We were members of different political parties and we often, I often supported the same causes, the very worthy causes that Fiorello LaGuardia stood for. I'm also glad to be here because of my long association with this college and with the City University. As mayor of New York in the year 1961, I, I was the principal sponsor and manager of the legislation creating the City University. And I have always been enthusiastic about the community colleges. I helped start, I guess, the first community college here in New York City. It is now known as New York Technical College. The purpose of this gathering is to note the opening of a special exhibit celebrating the 50th anniversary of federal housing, uh, public housing. And this is truly appropriate for these times when the concern of many New Yorkers is focused on the problem of the inadequate housing supply, especially for the lower middle class, and above all for the poor, and for the growing number of unfortunate New Yorkers whom we label the homeless. I'm proud indeed that my father was the author, uh, together with the distinguished congressman from Alabama, Congressman Siegel and his lovely family here, and uh, that they created the first piece of federal legislation establishing and institutionalizing the public housing program in the United States, the Wagner-Steagall Act. Because of my father's co-authorship of this historic legislation, it was suggested to me in connection with today's occasion that I might briefly reminisce a little about my father and his connection and my own with the program and problem of housing. First of all, about housing, I must observe that despite all that has been done by all our various levels of government in New York and nationally, much less proportionally has been done for housing for the poor than has been done for housing in the middle class, not to speak of luxury housing. So it is a good thing that we take note of this anniversary of the U.S. Public Housing Act of 1937. But by the time I was elected mayor and I had already served as chairman of the City Planning Commission, as City Commissioner of Buildings, Housing and Buildings, and also as borough president, uh, I didn't need to be convinced of the basic and primary importance of housing construction, including public housing, and I went at, at to all with a will. During the years I was mayor, I'm glad to say the federal government was headed by presidents who believed in federally aided housing and in public housing. The governors of New York State were also supporters. And during my 12 years as mayor, 423,000 units of new housing were constructed in this city enough to house one and a third million people. Of these 423,000 units, 123,000 were publicly aided, about 30% of the total built in New York City during that period. I'm very proud of these numbers and of my relationship with them. All in all, however, 
the federal, state, and local housing programs have met only a fraction of the national need. The most regret regrettable failure has been the program for the production of housing for the poor. As a whole, this housing program has been characterized by bright promises and insufficient performances. The, the more housing units once inhabit, inhabited by the poor have been destroyed by the course of highways construction, park construction, commercial construction, and housing construction. The end result is that the poor have less adequate and available housing today than they ever did. There has been virtually no public housing construction for the past 10 years. A considerable portion of the stock of public housing built in the past 50 years has deteriorated, some of it very badly. Almost all the public housing in New York City is still very um, intensely needed, much of it by people who without it would have been and would be homeless, thus adding to the great and tragic population. The federal local housing program needs to Recon reconceived, reinstituted, and renewed and invigorated. New uh, architecture, new concepts, new government structures, and new technologies need to be mobilized for this purpose. And, but most of all, there must be a rededication to the ultimate goals which inspired the U.S. Housing Act of 1937, whose anniversary we salute and celebrate today. Thank you very, very much.